how to unpack or extract the payload.bin file of Android ROMs on your phone directly without any root access. Hey peeps, what's up, Manji here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can unpack or extract the payload.bin files which you see in Android ROM zip files and get the image files from that payload.bin without having access to a computer which means we are going to do this on our phone and no your phone does not need to be rooted but even if you are rooted it won't make a difference and before you ask me why are you telling us it will work on both rooted and non-rooted because the videos I make about non-rooted devices i get comments on that hey manji will this work on a rooted device so yes videos or mods for non-rooted devices work on rooted devices as well enough of the talk all the applications everything which we are using in this video is linked in the description of the video so you need an application called termex linked in the play store fx file manager again from the play store both of these are free so let us open fx file manager i am opening it for the first time let us go ahead and say accept allow the permissions welcome to fx sorry i do not want to start the seven day trial so this here is the home screen of fx file manager let us go into main storage and let me change the view to list view because that is what i like and now we can go inside the download folder so here it is this is the lineage os rom for the poco f3 the mi 11x and this of course is a zip file inside this is the payload.bin then you have two other shell script files which we are going to use to install python in the terminal and then unzip this so let us first go ahead and press and hold on this zip file and then three dot menu on the top right open with here in select archive extractor so open with fx archive extract and then three dot menu on the top right one more time and say extract here now once the extract process has finished successfully you will see I have a folder with the same name as that of the ROM zip if I go inside this folder here and I have the file payload.bin so this is the file which we are going to unzip or extract to get the image files now the next thing we need is a application called payload dumper which is a python script and it is an open source application hosted on github so here is the page of payload dumper and if i tap on view code i can see the code but what i need are the files from this so i am in chrome let us tap on the three dot menu on the top right and say desktop site this is going to give us a desktop view of the github page then we can zoom and tap on this code right it will give you a few options what we are looking for is download zip and again it is asking me where to download it and it is going in the downloads folder and i say download so now all of the code has been downloaded inside my downloads folder so if i go back into fx file manager and here it is this is the download folder i have this new zip file called payload dumper master dot zip so press and hold on this one as well once it is selected three dot menu on the top right open with archive extractor three dot menu on the top right and say extract here now this has also been extracted and i have a new folder with the same name as that of the zip file payload dumper master go inside this you have another folder and inside that you have all the files which you need so now we can go back to our main storage herein i personally prefer to have all the things which i need inside one folder and because we are doing a separate process i would like to create a new folder so again three dot menu on the top right and say folder herein we can give this the name payload right and of course i made a typing mistake payload all right so we've given it the name payload and select okay now we are inside the payload folder now we are going to move all the stuff which we need inside this folder but do note everything needs to be inside this folder no sub folders so let us go back to our main storage we can go into download first of all we need these two files which are your shell script files so press and hold both of them are highlighted and we are going to say copy you get copied clipboard 2 right top right go into your main storage we are going to go inside the payload folder tap on this clipboard and say 
paste so now we have the two shell script files over here next up tap on the main storage one more time go into download next thing we need is the payload.bin so go inside the folder where you have your payload.bin select this file and either you can cut it or copy it let us go ahead and say cut and then we can again go back to our main storage go to the payload folder clipboard on the top right and say paste so this is going to move the payload.bin file to the folder wherein we have our shell scripts and then we can again go back go to your download folder and now we can go to the payload dumper folder these are all the files right so press and hold and then select all of them everything is highlighted and selected again cut copy whatever you want to do i am going to say cut and then we can go back to our main storage go to the payload folder clipboard on the top right and say paste so now you have everything you need inside one folder which is your payload folder so you have old output the shell scripts and the other utilities which you need along with the payload.bin file so now our tasks in fx file manager are done for now next up let us open the terminal emulator application which we have downloaded of course make sure you do have an active internet connection here and first of all we need to give this access to our internal storage because this is going to download python and then unzip the files so what is the command for getting access to internal storage the command is dumb ux hyphen setup hyphen storage so this here is the command on your screen right now once you've typed in the command press the enter key and as you can see it wants access to media and files say allow now so now that the application has access to our internal storage we need to navigate to the folder where we have all the files and that is in our internal storage so the command for that is cd space sd card which is our internal storage and then slash name of the folder which in our case was payload and then press the enter key so we are now in sd card payload and if i do ls and press the enter key over here you will notice i have all the files which you need are present over here so you have your payload.bin you have the utility you have the shell script files next thing we need to do is make those shell script files executable so the command for that is chmod space you enter the plus sign plus x space and then name of the file so we have ipython which stands for installing python so we're going to give that chmod or executable permissions first press the enter key no errors which means it got the permission it wanted or the permission we wanted to give it similarly we are going to do the same thing for the other file which is your extract so we are going to say chmod plus x and name of the file in this case p extract wherein p stands for payload extract is self explanatory and then press the enter key so now both the files have the permission which they need next up at this point make sure you have an active internet connection because now we are going to download python by executing the file so the command for that is sh space name of the file which in this case is ipython.sh and then press the enter key so it is asking us what do we want to do we are going to type in y over here press the enter key again it is asking us what do we want to do we are going to press y and then press the enter key now once the process has finished successfully strangely enough python was not found which means python was not installed so let us go ahead and execute the command one more time so we are going to say sh and ipython dot sh once again and then press the enter key on the keyboard right so there it is you can see this time around it is asking us about python what do you want to do so type in y in caps and then press the enter key and there it is you can see this time around i think we are downloading python 
and this time around if you notice we have python 3.9.6 this confirms that python has been installed successfully let us do ls enter one more time and next thing we need to do is we need to execute the extract shell script super important thing to note over here is that the payload file needs to be named payload.bin that is something which is really important and executing is as easy as sh space and then the name of the file which in this case is p-extract.sh so there it is sh space p-extract.sh and then press the enter key on the keyboard and now you can see it is downloading some packages which are needed by the utility itself but once that was done there it is processing boot dtbo odm product now based on the contents of your payload.pin you might not get all these partitions in some cases you might only get system vendor and boot so nothing to worry about but as you can see everything is being extracted right now and if i go back to my fx file manager go into the output folder bam here it is payload output this is where you will get your image files and we can now go back to the utility of terminal emulator and here it is you can see it is extracting it now what if you want to extract another payload.pin well python has been installed you have to install it only once so all you need to do next time is replace the payload.bin file and then execute your payload extract shell script and you should be good to go and as you can see we have now reached the system partitions if i go into fx there it is system image is being created right now everything else has been extracted and there it is peeps that is how you unpack or extract the payload.bin file of android roms on your phone directly and without a computer and that will do it for this video Hope my video helped you. Likes, shares and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you.